new update of Rice Droid Custom Room is out. The version is 8.5 and in this new update, of course, as expectedly, we have some of the visual changes which I will talk about in this video. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. First of all, yes, it's already having the November security patch. And as far as I know, this custom room brings two monthly updates. I'm not sure, but I found it because this custom room is actually giving you updates regularly as a Redmi Note 10 Pro users got unofficial builds so far. But I'm not going to talk about unofficial or official versions. We're going to talk about some source changes. First of all, if you move on to the default launcher app drawer settings, you'll be able to notice we have force white label option, which was not available previously. So this is the new thing which we got in this update which will give you white label even if you use a dark mode or light mode even when you when you see your app drawer second one is if you check out the recent panel we have the google lens and pin app the google lens was previously available too but pin app option is now there as you can see you can now pin app without even if you're using navigation bar or not that is not required so this is what we have the recent panel is actually quite impressive if you compare it with some others like pixel launcher or etc second the most interesting visual change is in the settings ui if you're able to notice the settings ui is now a bit changed and this is inspired from ui according to them the option is available in settings and you can see this is how the settings ui is looking like to be honest i started is giving you insane number of customizations sometimes it looks like it is not worthy but sometimes it looks like it's okay so it's all about users own preference opinion so if you like it you can use it if you don't want to use it simply skip this thing you can see settings ui already has a lot of options this is a default ui might be so if you move on to personalization user interface and setting style we have the MIUI inspired which is at bottom and as you can see this is how the ui is looking like so if you want to use this thing you can it's totally up to you of course it's optional one more change which i found here is in the game space if you're able to notice we have some in-game options available and i think so in-game call option notification mode option was present with the evolution x os2 and as expected in this one is already available in-game call option available which you can use auto answer or auto reject we also have the option for in-game ringer mode these are the options which we have and after checking out all these options which are available in this in-game options in game space uh, let me show you how the ui is exactly looking like in games so for example i tried out this game and this is the ui which we have we have modes which you can customize of course standard mode performance performance mode and battery mode which is available in other customers of course it also supports monet as far as i know this game space actually supports monet you can even customize the notification mode from here to reticker then maku or if, if you want to use any other or even if you want to disable this thing it's totally up to you so things are looking pretty much interesting in rise to our latest version if you move on to the personalization section in miscellaneous options we also have the netflix spoof option available which is actually quite impressive you can spoof your device as different model just for netflix we have unlock higher fps in games and as, ex as expectedly some pocket mode and unlimited google photo storage options are there so in the terms of daily usage this custom room already has a lot of customization so if you need customizations you can definitely check out rise to it custom home if it is available officially for your device go and give it a try for sure i also found some notification customizations in this update which are actually reveal animation style and pop-up notification style which will give you the ui same with samsung's one ui so if you're a samsung lover need samsung one year style notifications you can use these things we also have some in-call vibration options which are actually one of my favorite features which is actually one of my favorite features we have adaptive playback which actually performs really good to be honest i don't use this much but it's still quite useful there are some status bar customizations available too battery styles clock styles colored icons a data disabled indicator all the options which are available previously too are already present here so these were things i just want to let you know Volti, wo Wi-Fi icons are present. By the way, I'm not using any SIM card here, so that is why. But other than else, this is all. These were things I just want to let you know. I hope you like this thing. If you like this, don't forget to like and share this. Also, if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe this. As I will see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye and make sure to subscribe the channel for more updates like this. Goodbye.